Let's get it popping. Hey, what's up, man? Let's get this straight. You already know Mr. J Hill in the building. Terrence West. Um, Terrence West really don't need no introduction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he shattered records in high school playing football, football for Northwestern High School. Shattered records in Pot One and shit for motherfucking Johnny. Uh, Johnny motherfucking Mount Royal. You know what I'm saying? Going into Northwestern High School, going into track. Prep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> track. You know what I'm saying? Basketball. He was doing his thing. Shit, all around athlete, man, you know what I'm saying? Even to prep school, and then that's when he made his, his mark at Towson University, finally. And the rest is history, man. Um, Before we get to talk about football, mm. so I just want to address it, because, you know what I'm saying? What up? Don't feel, don't, don't, don't hate me, bro. I just got to address it. This rapping stuff. Let wh Why why we choose rapping? Why now? Why rap? I choose rap because I control everything. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, I think my personality, like, you know me, Jay. I'm cool. I'm fun. I like to have fun, interact with people, I like to help people. But music, it's, and it's also a hustle, too. Don't get me wrong. It's a business. Yeah, you, it's, a, it's a great business. <laughs> it's a Facts. great business. So, and I feel like it only take one song, one song to get put on, and, and, and you can just take off. But it opened up other doors. Like, mm -hmm. I want to I be in acting. You see Dave East. Dave East is a rapper. He mm -hmm. played basketball at Towson. Mm -hmm. And look at him now. Now he in GQ mags magazines. They open up other doors. So you just want to keep going. It's something to keep you active. So is it like a hobby? Something that's just, that you do for it's, fun? I, it's a hobby. Because right now, I still want to play ball. That's why I retired. not retire yet. I could have okay. went and retired. But I know I, I still want to play ball. All right. But being in the studio, it just keep me... Something fun. Fun. It keep me level. All keep right. me out of the club and stuff. Okay. All right. So... That's, that that gives a better understanding of what yeah. it is. But do you think you got a career for real in rap? I really think so. Because I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even saying it just because of me. Like, some of the songs I made and let people hear, like, and there's people that don't, I don't make them no money. They care less about me. You feel what I'm saying? They gave me good feedback. Like, bro, keep going. You really can do something with this music. Because, like, you you say you sound good. Mm -hmm. And, like, where I come from, like, all the guys that that in the rap game in Baltimore City, I'd been around. I I grew up the same way. Mm -hmm. You know that we used to catch the bus, Jay. Oh, yeah. Like we we came from the bus. It's not like I'm somebody that's faking it trying to get in the door. No, nah, this is true life story. So it's like, why not rap? It, rapping is like expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. You feel me with a beat on. So I I feel like I can do it. So how do you? Where would you rate yourself as far as like your raps and your the way you put it together? One to ten. Where would you rate yourself? See, I'm see, I'm I'm gonna say ten because I, you got to look at yourself the best. Now, I'm not saying. Well, what about the best. You, if you looking at yourself in the mirror, being honest, being hundred percent? Being honest, I still got more improvement to do because I'm still learning. Why would you rate yourself? I rate myself at a, a seven. Okay. And, I, and and to get to a ten, I really got to learn the business side of. It. Okay. And so you think your lyrics is like? My lyrics is like I got a different sound. See, I don't just rap about you know in Baltimore. It's it's like the home of the wire. You mm, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All the rappers, we they talk more guns, killing this stuff, two two threes, blah 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 blah. I can give you that because I seen it. I grew up in that that environment. But I'm trying to change the game. I'm I'm rapping about females, like vibe, good vibing songs. Some some that you can just I, my grandmother can listen to. I'd be trying to do songs like that. You no, know, okay. trying to lay off the curse words and stuff like it that. Makes but, sense. What about um? Can we talk about this Twitter video? <laughs> Please, bro. Which one you talking about? It's a whole bunch of. For real? I only seen one. I think you had the, the, the broom. Were you talking about the comedian one? Nah, when you was rapping. What about it? The, uh, you uh, had the broom. Yeah, yeah. True. I don't know what the fuck. I forgot, but I just know that shit, like, that shit started circulating on Took Twitter. Off. And, like, niggas was just making fun of it, whatever. Right. Case be. <laughs> like, how did that make you feel, though? I love that. You, Jay, I, I love, like, me coming up, man, people always told me I couldn't play ball. People told me I couldn't make it to the NFL. Yes, yeah. You know, I don't know no, if, if anybody says you couldn't play ball. Though. No, no, did not play ball. No, people did tell me. I was, people, to this day, I'm talking about I was a starting running back for the Ravens. People was, you're a bum. How is I'm a bum? Who, who calls you a bum? But you know people on Twitter. I mean, Instagram. All right, all right, all right, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Yeah. it but it you're in a different light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it motivates sense. me. You know, I sense. get DMs. I'm like, you're a bum. I'm a bum. I'm starting. Yeah. I almost went for 1,000 yards. I'm yeah. a bum. I did this. I got drafted. I'm a bum. Makes sense. Makes but sense. people been like that my whole life. Pop Warner. You know, I broke I was like the top guy in Pop Warner, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And people was talking about, he still, he's too slow. People told me I was too slow. Then, then, I, go to the, then I go to the combine and ran a 4 5 2 flat in the, the NFL combine in mm -hmm. Indianapolis. And people still tell I was slow, but how? Because yeah. I, I like to prove people wrong all the time. So if you say I can't do something, I'm gonna do it. People, a lot of people saying stop the rapping. 
They don't know. They really telling yeah, me. That's feeling it. They telling me to keep, keep going. Rapping. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> they don't know that. Right now, nah, keep going. All right, all right, all right. I got. I touched <laughs> on that. Um, so it's fun, but you still want to pursue it in a serious manner. Sir, I'm dead sir. So if people looking at me, I'm taking this serious. I'm dropping my album. New Year's, January first. It's called Next Chapter. Okay. But mind you, I still want to play ball. I got some XFL opportunities here and there, but I still want to. Focus on this music too and take it serious. All right, can we get into like just the background now? Like that was something that I felt like I wanted to talk about because people wanted to know. Yeah. It's just something popular right now. Just man, being honest. I love it, man. Just being, just being honest, right? I really don't care to talk about it because I know you, bro, and like you're really a good football player, yeah. right? Yeah. And like I want to know what happened. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you went to Tulsa and you got drafted, like mm. that shit don't happen often. Right. You know what I'm saying? You probably can count. Maybe not even a hundred players. Maybe I don't know. Um, from what was it? Uh, FC. What was it? FCS. Division? Yeah, FCS division. So it's like and just D one. C W. Yeah, C W A. Yeah, C W A. And then like just D one W A. Period. Like you know what I'm saying, a lot of people don't make it to the NFL. And the fact that you got drafted, my drafted. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like you got drafted was what? What was the third round? Ninety third round, ninety fourth pick. My nigga, that shit is crazy. So, can you tell the people that that don't know? Right, let's talk to the kids that might be playing ball in high school that might not be at the best program because you know Northwestern was pro- one of the worst schools. I'm, I'm glad you said that because like me, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna I'm take it from Pop Warner and work my way up to the NFL. Yeah. Pop Warner, I was playing with Johnny Howard. Mm-hmm. Nobody. That was like that right? was a, that's small. That's yeah. a small recreation center compared to Charm City. Charm City. Wood. Yep. Mm-hmm. I could. Them coaches was coming trying to get me, but you know what? I like to be the big fish in the lower pond and mm-hmm. try to make a difference. You feel me? Then I went to Northwestern. I went to Northwestern because I got kicked out of school in middle school. I mean, I was I was bad. I was low key bad, but football changed my life. But anyway, mm-hmm. I ended up going to Northwestern and took off up there. Me and you, me and you on the same team. We had fun. We won games, but Northwest nobody knew nothing about Northwestern. And not even just the popularity. It, it wasn't a good program, football wise, because it just didn't have the funding. Fun, yeah. And like we lacked so much. Like even when I went to college, right, I had to play cornerback. I didn't know nothing about coverages. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was already failed. Like we were right. both of us. We were already failed from the jump because we didn't get taught. You probably go to college. They probably teach you how to read the coverage in the background. Right. We know that. We were just out there raw, exactly. playing ball. Like prime example, when scouts came in to to Baltimore during the time we was in high school, they didn't come to Northwest. Guess what they was at? They was going to Tavon Austin them mm-hmm. game. Yep, Dunbar. They had a full house. I mean, I'm damn. I look on a, uh, that roster. Then they their whole everybody went D one. Went D one. Yeah, out school. Dead. I don't who. Ain't nobody go. No. Did, did somebody go? No, no, not, not, not D one. After D1. high school, I had to go to prep school. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, yeah. You were the only one that could have went D one. Like even and, uh, my junior year, I took a trip to Notre, Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. My junior year in, in, at uh, Northwestern took a trip to Notre Dame. Like that man, Campanero was there. Yeah, and he was like one of the top running backs at the time. Man, I just feel like if 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 we would have had that those opportunities, it would have been easy. Because even in Baltimore, so much untapped talent, bro. It's like niggas lot, is nice. It's a lot, man. It was. I ain't gonna lie, it's a it's a, a lot of kids that was better than me, are better than me, but it's how you, it's it's not a it's it's the environment that yeah. I mean like, I grew up in from White Lock. I came around of drugs, shooting. Like even Kwame, bro. Like Kwame was nice as shit. Yeah, Kwame, and then he got arrested. Yeah, so, it's just like, so it's like it takes one little mistake. Like it's I think back sometimes, it's a couple couple times that if I'd have went left. I probably wouldn't be here right now. Like, far as, like, being who who yeah. I came out to be. Because if I done went left, I would have been arrested. I could have got shot. Mm-hmm. Anything could have happened. So why why did, why did you choose to go to prep school first? I went to prep school because I had no offers. Because they were saying I had low SAT scores. They wanted me to get SAT. And plus, exposure. We had no exposure. I was picking up a lot of numbers of Northwestern. But I still ain't had exposure outside of Baltimore. So before we get into that real quick, right? Yeah. Let's pause that for right. a second. How was it? Being that number two guy in Baltimore behind Tavon Austin, or sometimes not even getting recognized because it was conversations of like the best running back in Baltimore is Tavon Austin, right? Yeah, yeah. And like, I'm gonna just be real, like Tavon Austin is nice as shit. Let's yeah. not get it fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But when when we had those conversations, I was always took your side because when it came to the best running back in Baltimore, I'm not first of all niggas know. You I always to, be I like, have to say, like, yeah, I don't <laughs> have to say this because you hear like I fuck yeah, with yeah, you. No, I'm always gonna be real. Yeah, yeah. I always say the best running back was you. 
because niggas ain't understand what it took to get one yard. One yard. Like I swear it. Like I'm just being real. Yeah. Tavon Austin had like you said he had the, the great program and he was great. Yeah. It, like I'm not by taking. I always said Tavon Austin was the best athlete yeah. in Baltimore, but the best running back I always thought was you because it just. You had to break five tackles. They don't just know. To get... My favorite running back in Baltimore is Tavon Austin. I tell him that all the time. Tavon Austin makes a shit. Hit a goal. <laughs> but like, I, you can't I, I, take shit away he, from him. He understand where we coming from when we talking about this. Far as like, man, he had all. He had a team. Team. He had a team. A good program. A good program. Coaches. Us, man. We probably Niggas. had. A, we probably had a running back playing line this week because <laughs> the officer, the real officer line man, he got hurt. Facts. And, no, and when I still would get all for him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I right. had to. That's why I really think my, my, my speed was questionable because yeah. when I get the ball, I got to make the D-line miss. Now the linebacker miss. Now I got to make... Now you 50 yards down the floor. Of course you're going to get caught. I cannot get, a straight, I cannot get straight out the gate because I, I, I got to make somebody... I got to make somebody... And I think so, but, well, just not taking nothing away from Tavon, the fact that he could stop and accelerate so fast, oh, that was different, like... I ran track against this nigga and I never yeah, he, seen he had no form. He won the whole four by one. Yeah, like the, the nigga had by one by itself. Like I, the nigga had no form, but he was yeah, fast as shit. Fast. Like he had that crackhead speed. Yeah, like, yeah. I still talk to Tim on to this day, man. So it's like, nah. I just wanted to talk about that because I know I just want to know how it felt if you could remember, like at that at that time, like just people always talking about Tavon and not really turns on a national level. Yeah, you feel me? Because because in the city. I ain't gonna lie, all the all the people where I'm from in the hoods and all they knew who I was. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They, when they say Tavon, they say my name. Cause I not open up the newspaper. I scored five t- touchdowns this week. Guess what? Tavon Austin just scored six. I'm like, yo, who is this kid, Tavon Austin? <laughs> I'm like, who is Tavon Austin? Then I look, I'm like, yo, he only 170 or 180. I'm like, no, this can't be this. And I go, we went to go see him. Like shorty, that like nigga that. About that. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like shorty really has this business. See, one thing I mean, I'm gonna give you respect. You gotta earn it with me. So Tavon earned all that, man. He, yeah. So did it ain't make like did it make you go harder when you seen? Oh, it, it made me go harder, go me extra hard because, like I said, Tavon one time. I think if I, I'm, mis- I might be wrong. I think he scored probably seven touchdowns one game or six. I know it was high, and that week because they played on like a, a earlier time during the week mm-hmm. and that motivated me like then he just scored six or seven touchdowns this week i'm going to do this i'm trying to do the same thing mm-hmm. and guess what i probably went for five all right so let's get back let's jump back into it my bad that was the segue because <laughs> again i know you so the conversations is different because like i, I want to know and i want niggas to know mm-hmm. all right you said you was going to prep school because niggas weren't recruiting you mm-hmm. did you know at the time that if you go to prep school that you was going to always have your eligibility when you go to yeah, another school? Yeah, that was part of Because at first I was about to go to junior college. Mm-hmm. I was this this close going to junior college in L.A. Then somebody said prep school. Uh, Coach, Coach Reddick. Reddick. No, oh, Coach Reddick. Reddick. Remember? Okay. I, yeah, he, Coach he Reddick. Yeah, 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 Reddick. Yeah, yeah, Coach I'm Reddick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Reddick. about yeah, yeah, Coach yeah, Reddick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach Reddick, when he was there, he he, 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 he pushed me to prep school. He's like, man, you might need to go to prep school because you go there for one year and get exposure because you basically just need the exposure. And you still have all your four eligibility. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when I went down there for a year, when I went down there for a year, I did my thing, Jay. I'm talking about no, I was I starting over Carlos Hyde. Carl, man, Carlos Hyde was there from Ohio State. He, he with the uh, Texans right now, Carlos mm-hmm. Hyde. But anyway, I'm starting over him down there. And when scouts still came in there, I'm doing my thing, Jay. When scouts came in there, that's what they, they look. Where you walk right past me? Guess what they going to? Carlos, Carlos Hyde. Hyde. He was already signed to Ohio State, but they trying to get him decommit mm-hmm. and try to get him to come to school. They, Clemson. They they chose another kid off over me, cause exposure. They ain't know who I was. Mm-hmm. Then when I you know when I left prep school, they didn't even want me to come back. Yeah, you, I was working at Jimmy. That. I, I was working at uh when I left prep Jimmy school. Jimmy Jazz. Jimmy Jazz helped my mother out with bills and stuff. I was working at a shoe store, so everybody coming in. You know, like once again the hate and stuff. Boy, yo ain't going nowhere. You at working at Jimmy Jazz? I'm like, all right, cool. That's when I was really I, I like to do stuff on my own, Jay. I don't like. But how that make you feel though at that moment when you working at Jimmy Jazz? Niggas like you ain't going nowhere, you ain't doing shit. It motivate me, Jay, because I ain't gonna lie. If people ain't coming there say that, I probably was still working at Jimmy Jazz because when they was coming there doing, I'm like, why wow, these niggas? They really think um, they really think I ain't gonna. So make that's that. just the type of person you are. Like it's just motiv- it don't hurt you at all. Like you don't know. No never man, twice. that shit t- turn me I mean, up. It's, it's some people that that it could get to because like it turn me up. I like being the underdog. We okay. go to we go to different stadiums like away games. Turn it up. <laughs> like, turn that shit up. Like, right. That's what I like. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I was working at Jimmy Jazz, they don't know. I'm talking about nobody. Coach, shout out to Coach Gary. 
No lie. Coach Gary, Gary Smith, he was helping me out. I, that's one guy that was helping me out as far as recruit because he took me to Maryland. He took me to College Park, and I was trying to walk on a College Park. They wouldn't give me no scholarship. No, no school in Baltimore City College would give me a scholarship. Even We're going to get to Morgan State. But I, went to, I tried to walk on a, a Maryland College Park with Coach Gary. He took me up there. That's when Coach Friedman, for Coach Friedman got fired. Coach, that's the, his name? Yeah, because uh, the dude that played for Emerson was up there, right? Yep. That passed away. Yeah, passed away. Um, I forgot his name. David Mackle. David Shout Mackle. out to Dave. Yeah, Rest yeah. David Mackle. He played for Emerson and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. when he was up there, I was going up there, but I was trying to get on the team. That's when they had a coach switch up. And um, and y'all played them, y'all no, played no. them while you was at? Uh, at Towson. No, I thought y'all played them while you oh, was at prep school. Prep school, yeah, yeah. yeah we I played West Virginia and Maryland. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We played against them and stuff like that. So, so I thought they knew that who probably, I was. Yeah, they knew who I was, and uh, that ain't work out because the co- the whole coaching staff got fired. Damn. That's when I tried to come down to Morgan State. I felt so disrespected. I went to Morgan State. I walk in and I, Coach Hill, right? Mm-hmm. Coach Hill. I go in his office. I'm like, man, I'm Terrence West. Bob. He like, okay, okay. He really wanted to take me serious. I seen how he really, he was just, okay, okay, what else? He liked to recruit guys out of Florida. Mm-hmm. He yep, was a, that's a fact. He was a Florida you guy. You're not telling a lie. You're not telling he a lie. He was a Florida, Florida guy to death. Yep. So I'm like, man, I'm trying to walk on here, blase, blase. He's like, you are? I'm like, cool. But I really, I went in there with a, trying to get a scholarship. Like, let me get a two-year scholarship and I work, I work my way to get another scholarship. He was like, we, we can get you to walk on. So I was trying to walk on. I picked, filled all the paperwork. Next day I go home, like three days later. Somebody called me from Morgan, like, your paper ain't go through, I don't think it's going to work. I'm like, dang, they really did me like this? So I'm in a house like, dang, what the hell am I going to do? So I'm looking, just looking at all the schools, all the schools. I see Towson. You know, I ain't never been up Towson. Yeah. Right? Like, the only time I go to Towson is going to the mall. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm telling Towson, I'm, like, I'm not going to Towson. And I look, because, no disrespect, it was just like a whole, like running back, it was like a whole bunch of white, it was, it was different for me, mm-hmm. where I come from. You feel what I'm saying? So Niggas like, ain't never di- have to deal with that at all. You feel me? So I'm looking like they, they got a good program. They organized. They got some money up there. They just looking for that star player. So I'm, I'm, I remember talking to Juby, one of my homeboys back in the day. I'm like, I think I can be that guy. So I call up there myself. I'm doing everything. Mind you, no, I'm doing all this myself. I call up there. I email the coaches, the whole coaching staff. I'm talking about from the lineman to the running back coach. Everybody. They're like, they called me like, man, come on up here. We want to see you. So I go up there. They seen I was like, I was 220. I'm the same size right now, like 220. They're like, man, so you got all your four years? I'm hmm. like, yeah, I got all my eligibility. They be like, how old are you? I'm like, blah, blah, blah. At the time, they be like, you sure? I'm like, okay. We know what you get you do. We can go find out your age. I had to take out like a $5,000 loan, bro. It's a $5,000 loan and walked on to Towson. Hmm. And when I walked on... You know, I was commuting. I couldn't I couldn't afford staying on campus. I still was standing at my White Lock home in North Avenue and waking up 3 in the morning because we had practice at 5.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I was catching the, the 8. This was the, uh, the 13. Eight. No, 13 on North Avenue to take to, you to Greenmount. Yeah, to the catch 8. The eight. To Lutherville. And, and, go, yep. and then walk up that hill. <laughs> yep. Every day. And I used to walk around, like, every day. From I used to have to wake up 3 o'clock and be the first. I used to make, get there so early, I could take another hour hour net mm-hmm. before practice up then go to class and like that first spring 2011 if I'm not mistaken 2011 spring I'm talking about I remember the run that really shook the coaches I really remember that run it was a run to the left outside zone run I ran it I shook a dude then I jumped over like a corner and I scored but, and I'm thinking in my head like I know I just not just do this yeah. like I'm thinking like hold up but I know I could do shit like that but yeah, I'm like it's, like, it's a different up. level of mentality yeah I'm like cause this I was for money mind, yeah. mind you I was just sitting out working at shoe stores and all this is, I was it, it was been a rough ride so I'm thinking like do I still got this shit so when I did that I'm like oh it's oh okay then I come back with another one. <laughs> oh yeah Austin, when you see the coach you know how coaches be looking and look to their part like they don't want they want to act they like they're like, they they not fresh yeah like got one so ever since then History was history. You know, the first game of my freshman year was against Morgan State. I had mm-hmm. everybody come up there. And I ain't even played. They ain't even put me in. Because they ain't know whether or not they was going to red shirt me or play me. Then they played me against Villanova the second game. I had two touchdowns, like 60-something yards. I, I think it was something like that. Something small. But I I got rookie of the year that year. 29 mm-hmm. touchdowns and everything. This, the first person to win the Jerry Rice Award. I just took off from there. How, how, how you, you stayed all four years in school? 
three is. Only that's a thing. That's clear as up. That's clear as up. So for all you all you people out there every time break my records, <laughs> listen, you gotta do it in three years. That's the only way I can respect it. Because I didn't I didn't come back my fourth year, Jay. I, my third my junior year, I ran I I, I, went, I had scored a forty if I'm not mistaken, forty two or forty three touchdowns in one year. Went to the national championship. Uh, went for twenty five oh nine rushing. Like and then I, my my t- most of my team was leaving, so I'm like, that's a lot of things that I'm lo- like I did all, I did a lot of things and I'm leaving my, my t- a lot of players uh, leaving uh, definitely off the line. That's what I'm mainly looking at. So I'm like, man, if I come back, my stock might go down, mm-hmm. might get hurt because they gave me the ball, they fed me the ball, so I know I'm gonna get tackled a lot. So I'm like, man, I'm leaving my junior year. I I, I, I still got two more semesters left. Well. I think a couple credits left to get my degree. But I'm like, school will always be there. This opportunity is slim. Mm-hmm. So I took the opportunity and ended the draft my junior year. So when, did you, did you, how was the draft? Because I feel like people said, but we don't really know behind closed doors. Was you already getting calls from the team? Did you know you was about to go to the Browns? No, no, no. This is how it worked. So when I ended the draft, they, they send you like a certificate and, 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 you put your name in there, and they see what you, what round you might go. Mm-hmm. So when I did, I put my name in a, in, a, in a ruffle, and when they put it in there, it came, they sent me a certificate back saying that I'm, I can get drafted second or third round. So I'm like, damn, I'm that high coming out of Towson. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, we we go we going to draft, we going to draft. And that's when you know, you know you gotta you gotta get. And then I got accepted to the the combine in Indianapolis. You know that's hard to get into. I didn't know that. It's, oh my God! It's, a, it's players that was at big schools that didn't get Damn. accepted in that. You feel this me? This is the NFL draft, like the NFL. That's the yeah, NFL. The it N- was on TV, bro. Right. I was like on the the top of the line draft for the NFL combine. Okay. Like, and me coming out, of, excuse me, and me coming out of Towson and getting accepted in that really opened up a lot of doors too, and let people know that I'm for real. Mm-hmm. Like this ain't no, this ain't play play. Yeah, we, this is yeah, real. Yeah. Yeah. like because all that college stuff go out the door now. We had the combine, all that, everything goes out the door. Now it's about who next, who gonna do do what, mm-hmm. and you know. So when I went there, mind you, when I left there, I started training at IMG. Shout out to IMG. I went down to IMG. Me, Ryan Shazier, uh Deanny Thomas. I remember that's the dude that played for Oregon. Or he with the Ravens now. Yeah. Kick, kick mm-hmm. returner. Yeah. Sixteen. Deanny Thomas, uh Teddy Bridgewater, uh. Carlos, what Carlos high down there with me? I think Carlos, no, Jeremy Hill. Shout out Jeremy Hill. Jeremy Hill. It was a lot of big no names. And when I got there, I'm like, yo, because I'm, I'm around these guys. I'm, you probably like, I look, you probably I'm, I'm, college I'm, football. I'm a fan, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, they, they look at me as a, like, because they know who I was. You feel what I'm saying? And I look at them like Danny Thomas. Like, he was the black mom. They was calling him the black mom yeah, at Oregon. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, damn, I'm really out here with him. I'm shagging with him. I'm living with him. I'm eating with him. So I'm like, oh, I, I can do this. Then we go out there on the football field. I'm doing it. Me and Jeremy Hill compete. I'm talking about me and Jeremy Hill talk so much trash. Because he a trash talker. I'm a trash talker. And we just competed. We just pushed each other down there. And me and Jeremy Hill, we, we came tight down there. And I, Because I like, he like to compete. He mm-hmm. think he better. I think I'm better. But you feel me? And that's what we did out there. We competed, man. So at the other. draft, like you didn't get no calls before at all. You ain't know. Oh, no. At the draft... I knew because when we had the little, you know, it's a second combine at you, uh, at your school. What is it called? Um, I'm not sure. When you at your school, when you, it's um pro day, pro day. Oh yeah, pro day, yeah, pro, yeah, day. Yeah, pro day. I had all 32 teams at pro day. Damn. That's how I knew it was going. I I knew it was on, I, but I didn't know it was gonna be the Browns. But it was on because all 32 teams. Like it, you know how hard it's for a scout to come to a pro day. Mm-hmm. Some teams, some schools probably only get two, three. Four, maybe. I had all 32 teams, bro. Damn. And it was raining. And all of them stayed in the rain. And I did my pro day in the rain. And all the teams, I'm like, yo, they really think, they okay. They, they believe in me. So how did that make you feel at that point? It Was it still surreal or it was like? It, st- it was, but it wasn't because I'm like, because I, like mind you, I told them, like I just said, I was down there training with big household names. Mm-hmm. And I was... Competing. Compete with them so the same level. So I'm like, if they can do this, they doing this at USC, they doing this at Oregon, and I'm at Towson, I can do it too. So I'm dragging now. I'm, I'm calling my confidence up here Okay, now, so now. that's when, at at the training facility, that's when it went from, yo, damn, like, I'm trying to go to the NFL to, 
Oh no, nah, I'm I'm going to the NFL. It went from that regular confidence. Yeah, because you know, like I said, they send you they send you stuff. They send you emails saying they they projecting you to go on this. It's not ain't nothing guaranteed, but they the world going around that I'm probably go second to third round. So I'm like. I'm, up, I'm feeling good. At that point, did you have to get a um like agent? A agent? Yeah, 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 I got an agent. So they sent it to you. You reach out to them. Like, how does that work? They they reached out to me. It was a whole bunch of agents hit me up, and I just pick. I chose the one that I felt like that had. So when the Browns choose you, is uh what is this? The second round, third round, third round, ninety three pick. So I'm at. We had a we had a two. To, you in the crib or something? You had a suit on or something? I, I had no. I had a suit on. I'm at the Ritz Carlton downtown Baltimore. Downtown. Yeah. Okay. And you had your family there, right? Family I remember had that. A party. We had yeah, to do a yeah, party. Because yeah. I mind you, they sent me a letter saying that I was going second or third round. So, you know, after the first round, it's only one day for the first round. The next day, it's second or third all the way up to like the fifth. Something like that. Anyway, I had a party. And, you know, I was on the edge of like not going in that third round. Because I was project. They were trying to, the Ravens were trying to grab me at the fourth round. But, you know, the Browns had caught the trade it up. The 94th pick. You know, the Browns had the... I think the Browns had the 98th pick. And that was the Ravens. But they them, they flopped out. So, anyway. I'm down there. We had the party. So, my phone rang. We eating. My phone ringing. So, they're like, uh, I'm watching on TV. Mm -hmm. they like, well... Da -da 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 -da. So, this is live. This is live. This is live. I'm watching it. My whole family. So, my... They, mind you, my, my agent got a phone call. Like, man... I think we about to trade. They gave him a little five minute heads up, like man, we about to trade and get turns wet. But I ain't know. So I seen on TV. It said Cleveland Browns just traded up, and my agent looking like, <laughs> oh, and my phone get the ring. I'm like, oh, grab my phone. It's my on there. Like, hello, this. I'm like, this this is me turns. They like, man, we we trading up to get you. Are you ready? Are you healthy? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm thinking like, damn. damn. Did my name just come up then and then? Terrence West has been drafted to the Home. Cleveland Browns, and they got and they just got Johnny Manziel. Mm. I'm like, I'm playing with Johnny. Johnny's the big big yeah. name in college, so everybody knew Johnny. So I'm like, I'm about to play with Johnny, then Justin Gilbert. I'm like, damn. And the blank of Chris Kersey, your life changed like that, like that. But the mind you, I, I posted the Ravens said they was going to draft me in the fourth round, the first round. I mean, the fourth round. Mm -hmm. I was going to fall to the fourth round, but I didn't. Cause the Cleveland Browns traded up. So at that moment, what you feeling? How you feeling at that moment? It hit me because everybody screaming, my mother in my ear, everybody. Ah. I'm like, dang. Then I got in the hallway, like, let's fucking go. I'm just like, yeah, let it out, yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. go. Because I worked so hard to right. get that call. It's like we hit. Like, from you know how, Warner. bro? I'm about to say, you know, bro, you know how special that is. And even for me, like, I didn't go to the NFL, but like, I remember that day, and I'm like, yo, I can't. Yo. It felt like I got drafted. It's unbelievable. It's like, yo, this is amazing, bro. Like, we played together. Like, this nigga deserve it. Yeah, like, like... That shit felt great, Like, that's bro. what a lot of people say. Like, I was doing it for people like 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 you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, trying to hold it down. Like, show kids nowadays. Like, you, it don't matter where you live at. How you was raised. It's all about you. You control everything. It's all about your decisions. So, let's go to the next step, right? And I, I'm sorry it's going to be long. Because, again, I just want to... For the kids that want to know, they're going to watch it. They're going to watch the whole thing. Yeah. So, like, after you get drafted, of course, the money come in now. Now, now you it don't come, no. I mean, that's to clean us up. Okay, yeah, that's what, I, that's that's what you assume. You would assume that. It, when you get drafted, people <clears throat> think money goes straight to your account. <clears throat> it don't work like that. You might got to wait two months. You, probably, you might got to wait two months. But, you know, your agent looking out for you. Quite, If your agent got some paper, he look out for you, huh? Hold this hold this 100K. But do you got to pay no, that back? No, you got to pay that back. No. Damn. No. So, but look, you got to get that on paper. Okay. Some some people finesse you now. It's some agents that will finesse you. But mind you, that's how I went with my agent because he was doing things like that. I ain't had to pay him nothing back. Damn. So you know what I'm saying? So he'll, he'll get this call for me. Bob, get that. That's when. Because people think them, all the money just going to your account. I ain't, I ain't get my, I signed my contract. Literally signed my contract in training camp. In training camp. You want to make sure it's uh, mic good? All right. Because right. I don't know if it fell. I don't know if it's on his necklace. Did it? Oh, no, it's good? All right, never mind. My bad. Yeah, so you said in training camp? Yeah. You what you were saying? Oh, in training camp. I ain't signed. Literally, I, I signed my uh contract in training camp. And that was like two months. That was like two months. Do after. you mind? Like, but what, like, what's the numbers looking like? Like, when you, 
when they offered you the bread, is it like a million? Like, is it like? No, it's like it. Was, it's, see, now it go in like categories. Like your third round, it's like almost seven hundred thousand. Okay, but is that all guaranteed or? Yeah, it's guaranteed. That, that's 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 like a bonus. It's like like you ain't. That's not including the money you got to get during the season too. Okay. So that's just like something like you just got drafted, huh? Damn. Now you want a, a what? It was like a three point nine million. It was like something. I don't know. I can't know the exact number, but it was on. It was like a rookie contract. You okay. want a contract for like four years. So they gave you seven hundred thousand. Did you blow this or like? No. Nah. I mean, you know, y'all had your fun. I ain't blow it, but I had I had some fun. But I never was a big spender like that until I came in Baltimore. Okay. Like when I was in Cleveland, I ain't know nobody in Cleveland. And when I had an Audi, what I had like an Audi truck out there. Um, I was renting. I ain't had to buy a home. Because I, I wasn't in Baltimore, mm-hmm. so it really was it was, it was I was living a cheap life. I really started spending coming to fucking Baltimore. What was your big? What was your first big purchase when after you got your bread? First big purchase. And what was it? First thing I did was move my mother though. I moved my mother out. Okay. First thing I did, I moved my mother, and my sister, all of them from around where we was living at. It's like I think it was moving to my Orange Mills. And I was in Cleveland. The first thing I, I you, like, did, you pay like you paid for the house. No, no, I rented. I rent. I, see, I was renting. Okay, you feel me? Like you know, that seven hundred thousand in. Like, I'm saying for your moms, like so. No, I was renting. Okay, I, mean, I was renting my spot. I ain't buy nothing. That's what I'm saying. I did not buy nothing because like seven hundred thousand, bro. That's not a lot. Trying to get a house. I feel you, but to a nigga that don't got it. Yeah, but that's when that's when you start when you get when you get it. You got seven hundred thousand. You telling you what's yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So you're right. saying like rent. You rent right now, and then till you wait till you get off your. Second, third year, you get, because, you know, so I did that. But I started spending coming fucking Baltimore, because you know what? The environment, bro. People <laughs> make you spend, because the people I hung around made me spend. You don't even drink. You're at the club buying niggas bottles. I'm at the club. I don't even drink, bro. Well, now <laughs> I, I just sit here and some handy right now, but here and there, but I ain't no big alcoholic. But, um, yeah, like going to the club, buy five bottles. I don't even drink none of them. Then... Uh, going to strip club, like shit like that, cause cause he might throw a thousand, I'm throwing two thousand. Like, he ain't gonna outdo me, right? Lord, shit like, cause this my city, right? You know what I'm saying? But in Cleveland, I ain't give a fuck. He throwing a thousand, I don't even know him. So, so did you nothing. did you did you run through that money or like no nah, like no nah, I'm cool. I'm uh, not now. I'm like your your rookie year, like cause you know a lot of nah, people. No, I ain't no. Nah, I really want my rookie year. I really want to. I really wasn't doing that, bro. Like I. Clothes, why I wasn't even big, like on. I really wasn't doing nothing, bro. All right. So how about um now? Now you turn to us. You drafted. You playing for the Browns third round. How does the love change from the city? Like like you said, you always got love from the hood niggas. Your niggas that knew you, but now you getting recognized. Bro, it's like this, bro. By the niggas that stars in the city now, they like yeah, turns my my nigga. How, bro, how does how does that change? From then versus now, I got two perspectives, bro. Mm-hmm. Then. It was cool. I'm like, dang, niggas really rocking with me. I'm really pitting on. Then the adversity hit. That shit fake. They left. What, they left. They what, fake. With the fame. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That shit. All that shit fake. But you gotta learn from all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So from as just like just being transparent as me coming up right and trying to get the fame and trying to be that that guy. You see it and it's like. I'm gonna let you know this now, Jay. You on your way. You you are no real love, man. Real love don't cost nothing. Yeah, a person ain't got to give you a dollar in that day in their life, and you and, and, and versus somebody give you a million dollars. That don't mean they love you because he just gave you a million dollars because he might got some some shit that come shit with hitting that, with yeah. that million dollars. Yeah, versus a person ain't got to give you a dollar, but they they showing you feel love, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel generally love, like nah. That's love. why I say like even like looking up to it, you see it. You see like now all these niggas celebrities now they want to take pictures with each other now they brothers now they fam and it's like. Damn, why you ain't showing why you ain't showing that love to a nigga before you got there? Right. You get what I'm saying? So so now you're in the Browns. Uh what happened? Like at like how does it go to the Browns till you getting traded? Next, or, all right, this is how it was. My my rookie year. I'm talking about You had a good pretty, Listen, yeah. AJ, I'm talking about it was crazy because I'm in camp. It's me, they just traded for Ben Tate. Then they got Cro- Isaiah Crowell. And mine, shout out my boy Isaiah Crowell, man. Because Isaiah was oh, I'm talking about he was this close to getting cut in his career. He had a, he having a great career right now. But he got hurt coming off injury. But anyway, he made a name for himself. But he was this close to getting cut. Now he's the like the starting back. But anyway, it's me, Ben Tate, Isaiah Crowell. They call us the big three. Going to the first game against the Steelers. 
They got me second on the second lineup. Isaiah third, Ben Tay start. Ben Tay get a knee injury. I'm next up. Man, I swear to God, bro. I'm talking about Palomano. What's his name? Palomano. Troy Palomano. Pa yeah. Bro, the first one I get, I shake him, bro, and I hurt on him. And I get up and I look. I'm like, bro, I know that's not who I think it is, bro. Because I'm like, I'm a fan. Yeah, like, I'm like, just looking up to these guys. So, bro, I ended that game with 100 yards, rushing yards, bro. And I'm like, and I, I look on Twitter and my name, like, yo, this guy turns West is for real. He's like, when rookie of the year. Like, and I start getting, uh, next game, like, I just showed you the football. Mm -hmm. the second game, I got my score, my first touchdown, I get the Saints. I went for like seven yards that game. Total, I went over 100 total yards, but rushing y'all had like 69 to touch now. And we won. So we won and won. And Cleveland, they used to lose like yeah. a lot of games. So we was doing good. We, I think the best record we had was like 4-2 and two in Cleveland. And everything was good. Everything was good. Everything was good. That's when I, I started getting bigger. I ain't going to lie. You know, I'm going to tell the truth. All right? Yeah, that's what I want to Like, I'm going to tell the truth. Like, I got big-headed as far as like, now they let me know. I can do this now. I feel like they was slowing me up. They wasn't giving me the ball as much when I was in college. Because in college, they was giving me the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, see me, I'm in high school, they was giving me the ball. I'm a type of player. Like, that's what I'm used and to. And Pop Warner, they was giving me the that's ball. That's what I'm saying. I'm used to that. So I get stronger as the game go. I get, I'll be like this when the game start. Then when it keep going, then when I'm gone, I'm out. I'm out the gate because I didn't figure y'all out now. And, and NFL, it's like this the whole time. Bring him in. Come on out. Mm -hmm. Bring him in. Come on out. That shit get frustrating. It's like a game of chess. You yeah, it's like getting frustrated. I'm like, I'm not used to this shit. So I'm like, I'm starting getting frustrated. Blah, 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 blah. I'm doing, and I regret this shit. To be honest with you, I'm saying it. I regret this. Like, call, I call, people don't understand. They think the, the they, they think uh the Cleveland Browns released me or traded me. I called for a trade. They wanted to keep me. I call. I'm like my agent. I'm, I want out because they they not let me be the person I want to be. I'm like, damn, I want out. And it's the time I was trying to get to the Cowboys. I'm because the Cowboys had lost a running back for us, like a, a rest or something. Here I got locked up for something. And I'm like, man, they were saying the Cowboys need a running back. Cowboys. I'm like, hey, this is the perfect time. I need a trade. We try and get there. Man, they sent me to Nashville. They sent me to Nashville a week before. They did that on purpose. So when them trades, they do stuff on purpose to get back at you. Like they sent Odell Beckham, the Giants sent Odell Beckham to Cleveland thinking Cleveland wasn't gonna be as good. They thought in Cleveland. I mean, they not. They some, ain't shit. They, they some shit. No, nah, I mean they. That's your old team, so you ain't. Yeah. But they some shit. They whatever. They, they the biggest. They doing bust. better. They doing better than whatever. They the, the biggest bust team. in the motherfucking NFL. But anyway, they sent you to. <laughs> they sent me to Nashville. I go down to Nashville a week before the season start, man. I go down there, couldn't get the playbook. I, I couldn't. I won myself. I'm like, this ain't me. But I'm still. Uh, they know I can go. Then we come back. We I think it's the third game. The third game of the season against. Uh, the Cleveland Browns, and everybody talking about he's going to get back at them. They just traded me. We got to play him like third week. So we get the third week. Man, the first curry, bro. I remember you this. Fumbled. I fumbled the. And look, I swear on everything. I watched this film. Nobody hit the ball, bro. That's God. Because I'm, I'm, I'm big headed. During the week, I'm like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do this, that. Blah, blah. First curry, bro. It seemed like the, somebody just hit the ball, bro. The ball just came. When the ball came up, bro, I felt so low. Because I was amped up to do so much because they they traded the team that is trading me. Mm -hmm. And like I fumbled that and then I really couldn't get my groove. That's when they released me. Then they brought me back, then they released me. I'm like, oh, all right. They put me on the waivers. That's when I came to Baltimore. That's when Baltimore come and play. I was on the practice squad. They was like, man, we'll bring you, bring you here on practice squad. You got to earn your way. And I ain't going to lie, Baltimore Ravens, you got to earn your respect. They ain't giving you nothing. Some players they do, but they ain't give you nothing. They put me on a practice squad. I was only on a practice squad for only a week. Justin Force, it's crazy. Justin Force set broke his wrist. Mm -hmm. This, was, I think it was forearm or wrist, or elbow or something. Yeah, forearm. And that's when they, I, they pulled me up from practice squad. Like, man, you up? And I had a good day. They liked the way I was doing my thing. And then the following year, man, I was competing. They released Justin Force, and then I was just starting back for Baltimore City. I came off practice squad. So mm -hmm. I had to work my way up. It seemed like when I came to Baltimore, I had to make a name for myself all over because I just got traded. I just got released. And then when I got to Baltimore, the name was on me. It was like, man, he a bad guy, bad guy. Then Harbaugh was like, man, I don't see where people are talking about a bad guy from me because they'll try to blackball you. They'll try to blackball you. And but you, do you see, if you look at yourself in the mirror and really just take a step back, 
is it anything you could have done that that it made them think that you just had an attitude problem or you it's was not arrogant? Even, no, it's not, bro. You gotta understand, Jay. Where we come from, Jay. You gotta be cocky, Jay. When you, you say cocky, when I like, say cocky, I don't mean pit some. I'm not the cocky type to pit a person down and make myself be, look look better. Mm -hmm. I'm the type of guy like if you think you better than me, all right, come on, let's line up and do this. Right. And if I when I beat you, yeah, I'm gonna beat. Yeah, I beat you. Like what's up? You mm -hmm. feel me? I'm that type. I ain't the type to just be talking off opinions. I'm going off fact. I just beat you. I saw I'm better. Mm -hmm. So, but like where I'm from, yo, you gotta have confidence because if you don't, Jay, that's like you gotta you gotta feel like you're the best person that you do interview. You gotta feel that way because you don't. They can be like if he don't feel that way, why, why, should, I, I why like? should I feel that way? Do you think that that plays a part in like why we can't really have nobody successful come out of Baltimore? First of all, we have plenty of people successful come out of Baltimore, but in the entertainment industry, even looking at like Tavon, how good Tavon was and Pop Warner in college, he's not doing nowhere near of what we know he could do in the yeah, NFL. You know they, they, it's like people hold, they don't let you be yourself. Like, but at some part, we gotta play a part in it. Like we got, yeah, we gotta hold some type of accountability because it's like, yo, we can't. I, granted, we can blame it on Baltimore, but it's something that we can do to break the cycle. Is what I'm trying to say, and. I, and I feel like this, exactly what we talking about right now, is why people don't make it in the, um, the rap industry. It's why people can't go far in, I don't know, uh, it's how, sports. It's, it's just how we raise, bro. It's the environment, bro. It just make you like that. And we don't even be trying to be that way, yo, bro. It just, it just be that way. How do we change that? It's hard to change. Can you see what's going on in Baltimore right now? The murder rate high. People, you can't, like, I don't even go out, bro. Like, yo, you step on a person's shoe, bro. They were trying to smoke you after the fucking party type shit. Like, you feel me? And, like, it's crazy. Damn, man. So, all right, throughout this time, um, what happened in Baltimore? With the Ravens? Yeah, what happened? Um, with the Ravens, politics. Well, I feel like it's politics because it was, I was doing my thing, bro. Listen, it, I was at, like, 700-something yards, and we had four games left. They only gave me the ball one time against the Patriots. Because, look, mind you, if I had to go for 1,000 yards, bro, I got more leverage. Mm -hmm. And more leverage meaning that they got to pay me more money the following year. So we're not going to let them go for 1,000. So you think they're going to take away from winning because of the money? I mean, to, to not pay more money? Or they had other, uh, other, another back that could That's contribute what I'm saying. to They got another back. They could, mind you, they got, uh, who was it? You had course? some nigga that was behind you that was nice. Who? I don't know, but he was behind you, but he was nice. Buck Allen? I don't... Did he have dreads? It was somebody that was behind you that... Alice Collins? I don't remember. What year? I, I think it was maybe your last year, but the nigga was nice, though. Alice Collins. So, mind you, this is what happened. I never got no injury on my whole career, Jay. I'm going to, like... We we had... The Raiders hurt my calf. I get one little injury. One little injury. I was only hurt for a good... I was hurt pretty bad. So, I was really hurt for, like, a good six weeks, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. It's always the next man up. That's when we got Alice Collins. He started doing his thing, going off. When I got back healthy, bro, they wouldn't let me touch the field because they did not want me to get, more, once again, leverage. Meaning, all right, I come back, he's doing good. Then I come back and I do good. Then they're like, why he not being back at the start and running back? You feel what I'm saying? And, they, and mind you, Alice Collins, they was only paying him 350000 and they was paying me $1.9 million. So they like, shit, if Alice Collins can give me this for three hundred fifty thousand, and T West hurt and he, we paying one point nine, we can just let him go, and just keep paying Alice Collins this. Mm -hmm. And you see what happened at the end of the, when Alice Collins got in trouble, though they did release him because he was over his he was over his uh, rookie contract. Now he's becoming expensive. Mm -hmm. So they're like, let's get him out. That's like the Kareem Hunt. You think Kareem Hunt was in a fight with a female on TV, mm -hmm. and he's still playing right now. You know why? Cause he's still under the rookie contract. They ain't paying him no money that he compared to be. He should be getting. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that go. It's a, it's all about money, bro. Damn. So right now I'm expensive right now. So that's why I'm going to do what I'm going to do right now. If I was a rookie, I'd still be playing. I've had practice squad ability. I still be playing. So you can't just take less, bro. It don't work like cause once you like I said when you go over your, your fourth or fifth year, your average is your average is your average is like eight hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So why I pay you eight hundred? It's like 
But you can't if I, like you can't I, like, I take three hundred thousand. You can't do that. No, it don't work like that. It's, it don't work like that. It's not. It's not part one. It's not no college. This is. It's, it's a. Salary. But does it work? I'm just. It's a job. Something like show up. If I if I want to take your, pay, a pay cut, it's I part can't. of the. It's it's part of the, it's part of the NFL rules, bro. Like a pay cut, yeah. You take a pay cut. If somebody talking about they paying you twenty million, then they talking about pay cut to pay you ten. That's different because oh. you definitely over but or average. The average is eight hundred. Okay. So we looking at the small. small so one. so eight hundred is like uh, minimum wage, basically. Minimum wage. All right, they can't pay Every you under. Fifth year. Okay, and they, they can't, can't go pay under you, that. All right, makes sense. Can't right. go under that. Makes it's sense. like minimum wage. So now it's like eight hundred thousand for somebody that. May or may not contribute. Nah, That's I'm not it. even about to take that risk. It's oh. not even that. It's like this. We got Alice Cobb. We got Terrence West. Pay him eight hundred thousand or one point nine, and he doing the same thing I'm doing for three hundred fifty thousand. Let's save some money. Let's go. Let's with save him. some money and go with him. Right. But the people on outside don't look at. They look at. Oh, he's better. Oh, he did this. He's a bum now. Blah, 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 blah. No, they don't understand the business size of the game, bro. It's bigger than who can run faster, bro. It's about who's cheaper. Who can run do the same thing he can do that's expensive. Mm. That's why a lot of people go through a lot of stuff. Like after their fourth, that's why they say you only the average players uh, play for like three years. Mm-hmm. It's three years mm-hmm. because they choose they do that to you. Because after your three years, you become expensive. Prompt, like you become Damn. expensive. It's a lot to go toward more than this. So plan. once they let you go, like how how did you feel that you? You're not playing football now. It's like, man, I'm still trying to play football. Niggas ain't giving me a chance. I, not, I, that's, I, the, that's the that's the that's the part that hurt hurt the most because it's like, they ain't let me. I worked so hard to get to this point, and they ain't let me leave on my terms. And I ain't even do, bro. I never been arrested. Mm-hmm. I never failed a drug test. I never missed a meeting. They got nothing on me, so I don't know what's the part. What's the hold up? Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like they just. Now it's just the politics. That's why I say I always say politics because it's a number game. They going after the money wise. You feel what I'm saying? They talking about the money wise. And teams, mind you, special teams. Jay, you 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 play special teams. Mm-hmm. Me, college, pop Warner, high school. I never played a special team day in my life. I was all running back, getting the ball. NFL, you special team plays a big part. So if you trying to make it to the NFL? For all the kids out there that play NFL, better special teams number one. Cause cause once you. You get another player that can play special team and be a running back, and you only play running back, he can do one more thing better than you. Mm-hmm. You only play running back, he can play special team and running back. That's what's going on right now. I'm only got film playing a running back, and they got other cl- kids out here that can play running back and special team. Special team you got more mm. tools in their in that toolbox. So how did you deal with that at that at that situation where it's like, man, they ain't let me go on my own time. I worked work so hard to get here. Now I'm, I'm hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like this fucked up. How did you deal with that emotionally? Man, it's to the point, man, I don't even talk, I'm going to put this out there too, my agent, bro, I ain't talked to my agent in a minute, bro. Like, <laughs> facts, we can put that on there, like, facts. Mm-hmm. Like, I just hollered at Cho, because I told him about the XFL joint, like, what's up with that? Like, you feel me? But, that's what I'm saying, when things go, like, adversity come, you see who true colors really come. But out. how did you handle it, though? Like, how, like, how did it make you feel? Like, I know it made you feel bad, but how did you deal with that? Did you have to, like, get a counselor? Like, did you go to no, therapy no, or no, something? No, 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 be honest with you, you know... The shit will fuck with you. Like, you get anxiety. You think you start feeling, they're like, damn, I've I been playing since I was nine years old. Around mm-hmm. this time right now, Jay. Been playing. Now your body's like, damn, we're having all these hits around this time. You, so your body become a clock. Like, you feel what I'm saying? We used to, you playing all, everything is like a, on schedule. So now it's all schedule. It's done, like, what the fuck? I still work out and shit, stay in shape. But it's like, your body, you, you just gotta, like, I, that's why I went to music. Mm-hmm. You gotta find something that's gonna get your mind off things. Find a hobby. That's like your sanity. That's that's what help you stay sane, so you don't be in it just going crazy. Yeah. And then like, you had you had two beautiful girls. Um, yeah. I remember when you first had had your kids. Like you always block their face. Yeah, yeah. Why you don't show them? You see what, bro? Do you see what's going on nowadays? Human trafficking, mm-hmm. selling body parts. So mind you, I got so many haters, right? So I'm I'm on social media, talk, showing my kids by the by. Say, for instance, somebody really don't like me, mm-hmm. and I got a appearance. At Ruth, uh, at uh, Chick Fil A, uh, at parents at Friday somewhere, mm-hmm. and somebody—it's weird people out here, bro. Somebody stalk me, see my kids, and really want to harm my kids because they don't like me. Per- they don't have no reason. They just—it's it's crazy out here like that. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I try to protect them, but you feel me? I, at a time, I'm gonna let them open up and do their own thing. But on my clock, I'm gonna try to protect them. No, that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? I want to ask you about this Kaepernick shit real quick. Um, just curious, because you say everything is politics. How do you? F- how do you feel about the, that that situation? Because Politics. I feel like he was going through this something similar, not 
Exactly what you're going Politics, through. Politics, taking a knee. He taking a knee. He's in a situation because he took a knee. It's not because he, he can't play ball. And he has his own reasons for doing that. I ain't going to get into it like that, but I feel like they blackballed that man. Out of all 32 teams and, and the season that he was coming off of, like he was the main, like at the time when Captain, he was the guy with the 49ers. Mm-hmm. He was the guy, like on the magazines, everything. Then by him taking the knee and him believing what he believed in. Yeah. But him, the way he handled it this time coming back, having a trial, do you think he could have handled it differently though? To be honest, yeah, he tripping. I think so. That's what I say. That's just I my think, opinion. I think that's my opinion. I really think if you want a job, my nigga, get your job. You don't go into no. He had an opportunity to do it. To like do the. I don't. He had his own. I don't know what he got planned. I, I like. I'm not gonna judge him because I don't know him personally, and I, I don't know what he got planned. He might got something coming out of this. But if I was in his shoes, <laughs> I don't want to. Which what you need me to do? Well, <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. I feel the same way. How does it feel watching the Ravens now? Man, boy, I wish I was on that team, but I ain't even going to lie, no cap. You know, but I feel like I'll be doing the same thing Mark Angle doing. Man, Mark Angle was plant, practicing. Man, I went down to New Orleans. I, mind you, after I left the Ravens, I went to New Orleans Saints. The coach told me when they released me, like, you had no chance making this team. Damn. I'm like, why Why you say that? You had no chance, mind you. You look at it, Alvin Kamara was the best rookie yeah, that at the time. Crazy. Going crazy. Mark Ingram, Mark Ingram, they paying him millions. He's the Mark Ingram. He been there before me. Then they just drafted a guy. Like he was like, we don't even know why your agent brought you here. You, you were just a camp body. But people on the outside, like when they released me, oh he a bum. He ain't got him. They just, that's that's another thing. People don't know what he don't know what what happened behind the scenes. Like, and he was like, man, you are a good player, but but this is not home. Bro, all this shit, I ain't gonna lie, you never like shed a tear from because of this shit. Like, I would've cried. I ain't gonna lie, that shit nah, would've hurt, bro. bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit don't be hurt. Nah, because like, I'm, because that's why I tell people I'm more than a football player, bro. But that's like, still a lot of feelings you gotta deal with. Like, it's some real shit going on, yeah, bro. Yeah, but I'm more than a football player. Like, I got goals, like, I had, I got goals on my agenda for life after football. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that was there, and that was there from Pop Warner. I was like, I'm gonna do this football, and then what I'm gonna do? People always ask you, what you gonna do after football? I always had kept that in mind, like what I want to do. I always want to be on like acting, TVs, and music, and stuff like stay in the spotlight. I like you know, what I, mean? I like I like that. Nah, man, I'm glad we got a chance to chop it up, man. Um, best of luck with everything, dog. Hopefully, this can motivate some kids that's playing ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, and hopefully, you can do your thing with the rap and everything. I mean, it is what it is. I'm here to support you, my nigga. Regardless, I'm ready. Yeah, you know, my motherfucking nigga. <laughs>